What's going on ladies and gentlemen, once again I'm your friendly neighborhood cryptocurrency guy and uh, today I want to talk about Xeon, mining with the Xeon chip. Now my original computer guru passed away and he passed down to me a Xeon chip, an X3400. This sounds pretty powerful so let's get it going. I got it uh, installed over here, it's going to be one of my servers. Let's get her going and we'll see what we can mine with it. So I was pretty floored to see that I could not actually mine with this on NiceHash. NiceHash simply wouldn't accept it. Just blew me away. I didn't have any problems with the other ones. Now, this chip definitely is older than I thought it was. Uh, it turns out, geez, I just found out recently that the the uh, the i3 5.7 that's a legacy that dates back almost 10 years now. So I don't. Uh, let's check out the other miners. I didn't have as much of a problem with those ones. Next up, I thought I'd give it a whirl with Better Hash. Better Hash is uh, an alternative to Nice Hash, of course. I'm just trying it out. I'll be doing a video on that program later. But so far, I gotta say I like what I see, and I can actually mine with it. I can actually mine with it. I don't think I can mine with it quite as well as I can with Minergate, though. If you look at the top right, you will see that it's pretty much throttling itself. I won't use 100% uh, of my CPU, but when I come back to it, sometimes it uses just a little bit more, whereas with uh, Minergate, I can make it use everything. I can make it use absolutely everything. Uh, so yeah, let's check out Minergate next. And third and finally, we're going to try out Minergate. Now, Minergate definitely uses 100% of the CPU. It'll use even more than that. It'll, it'll, it'll crash your CPU if you let it. You can tell at the top right, I got uh, the CPU pinned and uh, making okay, okay hash off this thing with XMR. And of course, that means I'm, since, since I'm on Minergating, I'm dual mining. Uh, geez, one phantom coin. I'm also mining, mining phantom coin at the exact same time because of uh, the way that miner gates work. So that's pretty good. I definitely think I'm getting the most payout in miner gate, but I'm going to be setting the CPU to do better hash. I want to make sure I can get a payout before I do a review on it. But it's amazing how slow things get the further on that you go. I swear about six months ago, not definitely not a year ago, about six months ago, I had Quattro 600 uh, GPUs. I was actually making a relatively good amount with it. And then about three months later, I couldn't even use those. And then I tried uh, 6,000, a Quattro 6,000 card. And now I can't even use that. It's uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how fast these things are going. It's amazing how fast uh, we can't use them anymore. I guess that's just the way crypto goes. Anyways, that's it for me. I am your friendly neighborhood cryptocurrency guy. And have a good one. Take care of each other. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It definitely helps me out. Catch you later, folks.